Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Cortman, and now for the Mental Health Minute. We're talking about stress and how for some people, stress comes from jumping out of an airplane while other people relax by doing such. We talked about Hans Selye and his general adaptation syndrome that demonstrates that we go from alarm reaction to resistance to exhaustion, which leads to disease and then to death. But now I want to talk to you about how we shut off the stress response. And this is very simple. What stops the mind from perceiving threat is when we believe that this is okay. You've done this thousands of times in your life. You just don't know that you have. For instance, anytime you say something like, ah, it's only money and money comes and goes. Or you say, you know, there's nothing we could do about that, so let's just move on. Or it's in the Lord's hands, just leave it to God. Or, you know, the surgeon said that she got all of it and I'm gonna trust her that I'll be fine from here. There are so many ways that we can accept what's happening and by doing so, shut off the stress response. In fact, one of the challenges I would have for you is think, what in my life is stressing me right now and what can I do about it? And that hopefully will include things like problem solving. And maybe you'll need a financial manager or maybe you'll need some physical tests or whatever it is you need. But once you have done everything you could do about something, you'll need to let go of the rest. The mind needs to say it's okay in order to shut off the stress response. And then maybe you'll be able to do some skydiving.